the show, I made a film with Joanna Lumley where I broke into her home and we had, well, sort of a disagreement. Some of my viewers with nothing better to do complained to the BBC that I had been rude to such a popular icon. Here's a little taste of that moment. Holy oh, God! Get out! Get out! Can I just say that in real life, Joanna Lumley and I are very close friends, okay? Anyway, they demanded an apology, so here it is. Okay, Lauren, I'm just going to settle the bill with this tea, okay? What did you have? You, did, you had nothing. Listen, I'll pay. What's the difference? Roll that bill. Oh, I know she's there. I'm the car here. I'm no fool. <laughs> On our way to the first floor. Ah, what are you doing? Give me that camera. Come on, Mike. Come on. Joanna! Joanna! God, she's out like a light. Joanna! It's just me, Ruby, and a teeny medium sized BBC crow. <laughs> Nothing. Give me that sound thing. She won't mind. We've been friends for years. <laughs> Same housekeeper. God forbid these scarlet should bend over and pick something up. Joanna's looking. <laughs> oh, you're on the stage? I'm feeling fine. Um, I'm sorry, Joanna, just listen, nod your head, okay? Just, if you could just say that we're very good friends in real life and the thing we did together last year, we rehearsed it for two weeks, everything was scripted. If you could just say, if you could just nod, then we'll just listen. Uh, no, I don't but, want you. I don't want you here. You came last time. I don't want you. I've called, I've called my solicitor. I have had to get the police. I don't want you here. Can, can, can I, I get out of my house? All right, can I just, excuse me, can I, can I say one word? Can I say one word? You were angry last year because we had a hidden crew. Okay, this year they're not hidden. They're all out here. Mike. This is my Jeff is on time. Andy, he's doing an episode in Casualty. Um, I, we're here. I mean, we're out in the open. Oh, Casualty, that was great. Which is, so what, you want to do an interview or something? Well, just to have a I'm not actually looking my best at the moment. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just sort of, um, hang on. Let me just... <laughs> it's just incredible. I get hungry. I have these tiny digestive problems that I have to do. It's a lovely hat I got from you somewhere. Just pop it over there like that. Um, all I want to do is just make myself look a little nicer. Because I'm not, I wasn't expecting you, you see, but what I'll just. Sure. If you'd like to just wait um, somewhere else, I'll just be sure. done. Well, I think oh, by the way, I just wanted to show you that's some, that's me there. There, I'll just go. <laughs> We better go. I'm just going to say goodbye to Mr. Lumley. Just apologize to you, Mr. Lumley. I'm sorry about the inconvenience. You're not Mr. Lumley. Uh, I'm Ruby. Do you remember me from last year? This is Mike, the cameraman. Jeff is on south. My, my glasses. Do you right. remember me? I cannot believe this. I really cannot believe this. I mean, this is absolutely appalling. Is the camera off, by the way? Is the camera off? Uh, Mike, Turn that camera Mike, off, please. Mike, Mike, would you please a little bit give this man some privacy? Thank just have a little respect, much. please. I'm I understand that. To I'm so, I was just leaving. To to I was I'm just leaving. going out of your house. Joanna Lumley is not a well person. She is actually very, very ill. She is having treatment at this very moment. It was fine when she was playing parody. I mean, yes. it was absolutely fine. There was champagne, caviar, and the gentleman callers every night. But then that finished. It was well, plastic surgery. The... I mean, I came home one evening and uh, in, in, in that bathroom, her breasts were hanging oh my God. down. And, and I had stitched them back with my own hands. I understand. No! I'm sorry. Are you listening to me? Yes, I understand. I mean, it's appalling what has happened. I know. And, I mean, and then, uh, and then the, the sexual. I mean, it's just absolutely appalling. I mean, I, I thought the two pieces were for, were for cooking. And now, now what are they for? Oh, what are they for now? Oh, my God. I can't tell you what they're for. Those kitchen eaters. What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you! Joanna, 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 just calm yourself down a little bit. I'm not being malicious. I'm just saying go along with me or I've got the film already. I could show the real Mr. Lumley. Is that being too rude? <laughs> Joy, it was to see you, Ruby. I always love it when you drop in in that spontaneous way you have. So see you next week for when all our husbands get together with us and we tell amusing stories and really laugh. Yes, 
very good. Okay, that sounds great. That'll be fun. What? You'll call me or what? Anyway, come here. You see what I mean? It's like one little community, this world we call show. She's such a goofer. <gasps> the front of the film is coming to us. I told you. I promise. Yes. Love you. Mwah. I love her. I really love her. I mean, whether it's me or John Gilgood or Flipper. I mean, it's like we're all connected at the hip. Joan Plowright, she calls me up at 4 o'clock in the morning, tells me her dog is sick. I'm worried. I'm up all night. How's Wolfie? I can't. What is that noise? Same with Jojo Lummers. I mean, she makes nasty, but she's family. What is that noise? I'd just like to say how much I've enjoyed being on this program. Ruby Wax is one of the most talented women on television. And she should. And she should probably win an award. <laughs> I love this woman. Mm. 